Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalom Lawson. On today's bulletin, there's a medical crisis at Pari Hospital in Harare. A troubled hospital in Chitugwiza celebrates its Silver Jubilee. A former army colonel trades his gun for fitness training. And we visit a Harare man who has kept his dreadlocks for 25 years. Problems for cancer patients in Harare are set to worsen as the only radiotherapy machine at Pari Hospital broke down recently. Muchana Tachimuka reports. Kufa kwa kaita mchina wa radiotherapy pachipata rache parere nyatu kwa mungu wa fupi ya fura kwa kaisa openyu wa varu elewe gomara na parumana nzombe. Isi shaka wetheru wa shekare ni kushai kwa kwenye anjizi nugu na kukazira mchina uyu mnika munu. Ndo kuruzi ya uti dae drive vira munu mu Zimbabwe mawe wetheru wa ingwe machine. Kwa wetheru wa kwe wangwe wa wanuita nite radiotherapy nite ma radiotherapist kutena wanuola pa kenza wa shinji. Makoto aka kuruzira kutepaga neva nova nukazira mchina ii munu Uye kuti inge iri mumatunu ese nyika. Pa every center, hospital, hoti pa wama nge machines. Kuta hoti, sisa wama no baku ule seni, no baku onde vali. Manika la province. Wama no baku beit bridge. Beit na wama nizungu zika sena sena na saka tangajiru ula ilai vila. Tawo ezeo wawo tapi wama nge machines kuma centers elu. Sisi neine kuti wange varuwelewe gomara rava ewe pachipatara iche wakaramba kutoru wa mifana nizo yao Vaka che mao ne kudura kurikuita kufene kwa pamwene kurapu kwa kwe gomara ramu Vange vaiti kufapaka famuchina uyu vaito rara pachivanzi chichipatara iche waka mira kukatu kwa kwa umu Sanga norino mirira varuwelewe gomara rare Kensa Association of Zimbabwe Rino taura nizo kushome kwa kwe michina ye radiotherapy The early screening facilities uh, in Zimbabwe, um, um, but um, those that are there can help people at the moment. Mabu anotana unguranije mando ze gomarara zinubata wanu Zimbabwe. Most cancers that we see are breast cancer in women, um, cervical cancer in, 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 in females again, and prostate in men. So nan Hodgkin's lymphoma, um, those are most of the cancers that we see in Kaposi sarcomas in both males and females. Anuto ala jekare ni kukosha kwe kukazika kuvene kwa gomarara ne zunuita kutimunu abatu kwe nechirwere ichi. The problem that we see is most of the people they come to healthcare institutions late uh, when not much can be done to their cancers. Gomara na rechipere kondiro riku nyanya kubushunguru za mazimaimu Afrika rechikuwa mzera ndufu za ganyanya. Pa gorele garega, Zimbabwe iriku rekoda uanduwe jirwele jichaje gomara na jinuita 70,000. Dini mtuarwe na uwe ATV, dini muarare, Zimbabwe. Hundreds of people converged at Chitungwiza Central Hospital last week to celebrate the hospital's silver jubilee. The commemorations came at a time when the hospital is facing financial problems. Muchana Tachimoga reports. Chipatara chichitungi za Central Hospital Shundura Kapera chaka pembera kushitza makore makume maverine mashanu chibatira vanu mwenye ya ze utano. Membirero izi zakaiti wapachipatara ichi pazipe dini ngira renoti quality health supporting lives. Mukuruwe chipatara ichi, vana zana ungura nizwe budiro ya waka ita kubira pagava kwa chipatara ichi makure makumi maviri ni mashanu adari kam. What came out as the biggest achievement was ISO certification. ISO standing for International Standards of Organization. And this, um, became, this institution became the first ISO certified public hospital in the whole of southern africa dr moyo vano taura pa msoro pezu minga mpinyi so vano sangana nazo pa chipatara ichi hospitals especially government hospitals is the same there will always be a shortage of funds you know so that's why we have to work outside the box you know and uh, go out and fundraise you know the funds are never adequate if they give you a budget figure 
you should never expect that you get the whole amount. Mukushi we mashoko pachipatara ichi. Ano taura wone su sanduko ya ve pachipatara pavo. We have extended new units which were not there when the hospital was opened. For example, the intensive care unit which also houses the renal unit which is one of the newest units. And also we've got new blocks for school of nursing. There was no tiling and the mochari was different from the one we have now. Mumwe mbatsiri pachipatara echi. Ano taura neswe rutsi giro ruchao ya pamembele ro idzi. Zijaramba zishende ramberi kushika mumwezi wa gumiguru. We're going to be here at the hospital for the next 12 months with a special event coming on each month uh, for the next 12 months from October onwards. So there's a lot of money that is going to be realized from this because already as I speak to you we already have got some sponsors that are willing to come on board and uh, we've also got to know about certain shortfalls that the hospitals has in, especially in the drugs department. A soldier in Bulawayo has traded the gun for fitness training following an injury. Lieutenant Colonel Godfrey Kumalo, who retired in the 80s, is now running a fitness center. Crispin Tavura gives us the story. A retired soldier has now established a fitness center where he is offering training to footballers and athletes in and around the Matabelian region. ATV recently caught up with retired Lieutenant Colonel Godfrey Kumalo, who was forced into retirement in the 80s due to injury. <laughs> Now the training programs that I'm using, I'm using international training programs. Uh, many you, Steve, he sends, he sends the training programs for fitness or soccer special. Kumalo speaks about how he acquired fitness training skills. I did the physical training courses in the army and uh, that was in 1980 at uh, Llewellyn Barracks. Advanced courses, I went to one commando under British instructions. And the uh, Llewellyn Barracks, with the first one, was uh, under German instructions. Then advanced courses again, I did the aerobics under Plow Health, a Kim Morgan instructor of aerobics. Kumalo has become a household name among many football teams in Bulawayo that are turning up for training at his center. Yes, I can name Highlanders, Chicken Inn, Quela Town, uh, come to Division 1. Blau Chiefs, Cizania, Division 1, and then comes uh, uh, the school which is FMH Akedam. Reporting for ATV in Mulawayo, Zimbabwe. A Harare man, Bernard Guta, is trying to break a record after keeping his two meter long dreadlocks for 25 years. Jairo Saunyama recently visited Guta and gives us the following report. A high fields man is stunning many people in Harare with these almost two meter long dreadlocks that he has kept for the past 25 years. Bernard Guta, popularly known as Nati Dread in the high density suburb of Egypt, seems unfazed by the gazes he often gets from onlookers. When going to bed, the 46-year-old said he wraps his locks around his head to get a good sleep. Gutsa, who is also a photographer by profession, also earns a few dollars a day from posing for photographs with fans. Some high field youths held goods are who they referred to as their role model in the suburb.
However, other people castigate dreadlocks, saying that they are unhygienic. That's their right to some extent. Can I recoup it is but then it's too long. According to Guinness Book, the world's longest hair of 5,6 meters long belongs to Xi Jinping of China, and only time will tell whether goods are able to break that record. Reporting for ATV in Harare, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.